Hey everyone, Darkwell here, and welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be doing my predictions for the bracket at TI. We just got done with the group stage last night, a day ago, just depending where you live. It's kind of like weird because for me, it's on the other side of the world. So um, unfortunately for me, all the TI games are happening in the middle of the night, but I do get to see some of them before I go to sleep. But in any case, I didn't do a video predicting the groups. I thought it was just... Um, for whatever reason, I just kind of wanted to wait for the bracket, and there was just a lot of teams, a lot of unpredictability. It was hard to really know who was going to be good, so I figured we'd wait for that. I do a little bit of analysis. I'm going to break down the groups, just some surprises, just give highlights um, for anybody who hasn't watched a lot of the games or, you know, from the things I've seen. I've watched a decent amount of games, highlights of games, these kinds of things, uh, uh, during this last group stage this weekend, and uh, then I'm going to make my predictions here going forward uh, in the bracket in the client, actually, because you can make predictions in the client uh, if you bought the battle pass. So let's just jump into actually just quickly covering what happened in the group stage. So I'll, I'll quickly talk about group A first. Um, so these are the results and we can see the matchups a little bit here, a little bit of a preview, but these are the results from group A. So surprises, let's just talk about big surprises um, in this group. So the first big surprise is obviously going to be EG being on top of the group far and away the best team Probably in the entire tournament so far, they came out picking Broodmother, which I don't think was a predicted top pick. I think people did think that it was okay. You know, I think people said maybe, okay, Brood could be a cheese pick, but this was like a top pick for EG. They played it a lot. I think they had a lot of success with it. They just kind of have been determining the meta because, well, they're winning. So if they're winning, then they are determining the meta. Like they're really the, pe the, the team that is... Everyone's kind of looking to, okay, how are they winning? And then they were adjusting because day one, I think they won every single game. Um, they beat LGD 2-0. They just were crushing it. Uh, they lost four games, but two of the games that they lost were just yesterday, the last day, and they were against Boom Esports, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and they were already locked as the top seed. So they pretty much, I'm not saying they weren't trying, but they weren't, you know, there was nothing really to play for. So really, I mean, they went 14-2 and two in games that mattered for them, and uh, they just absolutely crushed it. I'm just saying that's really surprising because for the entire year, we've seen EG do really, really poorly. Like, bad performances on LAN. Uh, they've done decently in, you know, NA in the bracket in, like, uh, their regional head head to head matchups but that's because they know each other really well you, you know there's only a few teams there sonics or Prince, uh, previously quincy crew tsm those are really the only teams that do threaten them and we've even seen them i think falter against uh not necessarily wild card gaming but now nouns which was formerly four zoomers i think they actually lost to them uh in the last uh dpc season so in any case, EG was a huge question mark, but clearly over the last month or two, they've been, you know, honing their skills, getting good at scrims, really trying, really practicing and doing really well. Now, we've seen EG do really well in the group stage before in the past, and then they kind of don't do very well. They bomb out or they lose the first round or, you know, they they might make it a little bit, but then they, they never really get past that three seed. So we'll see if this is their year. I'm not going to believe in them yet. I don't think it is. I mean, I, I feel like we're still going to see cracks in the armor. We're still going to see some... Uh, bad things happen to them. I won't predict where they're going to go until a little bit later. I'll, I'll get to that bracket in a bit, but I don't predict that they're going to do as well continuing into the rest of the tournament because I feel like, not that it's rare, but a lot of times the, the team that sets the meta in the group stage eventually gets figured out and then has a hard time adjusting. And we know that EG is a team that doesn't really adjust super well. Anyway, they have their stable picks. They pick them a lot. They're just kind of how Bulba drafts, how the team likes to play. And so if they get figured out, if these picks get figured out and they can't adjust very well, it's going to be kind of difficult. I mean, they've been picking Naga. They've been doing a lot of unique and good things. They have figured out the meta first, but I think once people are catching up and we kind of saw that with PSG LGD, they didn't do well the first day, but then they caught up with the meta and then they ended up getting up here in the upper bracket. So I think LGD being up here, Liquid being up here, not really surprising. Everyone saw Liquid had a really good run in the last chance qualifier. I think Secret and Liquid had a head of steam coming right from that with all the practice and all the chance to develop the meta and like get to all those games under them. And uh, so I don't think it's a surprise that they did well. Then we have basically the next little group here, which is OG, Hokori, and RNG. So OG, maybe not super surprising that they're up here. I mean, people obviously expect big things from them, but Hokori and RNG, although they are in the uh, kind of, they weren't eliminated, obviously, but they're in the lower section. They're not in the upper bracket. They're in the lower bracket, which sucks for these two teams because these are two big stories of group A as well. So Hokori, obviously they are the... Um, qualifier team 
from South America that I think me and everyone else, I don't think there was a single person in probably the entire world, honestly, I don't even know that there are any Hikori fans that counted these guys out. They It was like almost assumed, uh, just a given, that these guys were going to be one of the teams eliminated from this group. Like, it, they just figured these teams have this team has no shot. They actually, going into the last day, had a very good chance of making it to the upper bracket. Unfortunately, I think they lost their last four games. I believe they lost to... Uh, I, I forget exactly who they lost to, but unfortunately for them, OG and RNG actually played... Uh, their last matchup against each other and it ended up being the Hikori lost like their last couple games and it just it made them um, because OG won both of those games against RNG it put them automatically into that upper bracket and it just kind of sucks for Hikori obviously their destiny was in their hands and they ended up not you know finishing super strong but even the fact that they're up here and they had a chance to get in the upper bracket says a lot for them um, I don't know if they're going to go far you know in the bracket but it says a lot that they were even able to do this when I think nobody had high expectations for them. And then RNG is the other one. They started out 9-1. and one, uh, Nine wins, one loss, and then they lost eight games in a row. Now, to be fair, they lost, you know, they played a lot of the better uh, teams on the back end, so it was a little bit of a schedule thing. You know, the beginning of their group stage schedule was a little easier than the later stage, but uh, it still sucks for them. All they needed to do was win one game. Honestly, they went into the last day yesterday, or you know, last night, whatever you want to say, this morning, wherever it is for you, um, they went into that with facing OG, and all they had to do was uh, beat OG once, and they didn't end up doing that. And so, unfortunately for them, even though they started out nine and one, they end up losing eight in a row and getting into the lower bracket. So, a lot, obviously, they're not eliminated, but uh, that's that's kind of disappointing for them. And then, Gaming Gladiators just kind of middle of the road, nothing too special about them, nothing great to say. I think that's this is kind of where I think people expected them. Uh, they maybe could have been upper bracket, but it's just, I think they've fallen off since they were good earlier in the year. They've been figured out a little bit. They're kind of middle of the road, and this is where I think they should be. And then lastly, we have Boom Esports, Sonics, and Bet Boom, who all tied at the bottom. Boom was basically down and out. I mean, they were done. It looked like Sonics was going to get in. Bet Boom was pretty much eliminated. Um, they didn't have too big of a shot. I think it was it was almost assumed going into the last day that Sonics was probably going to make it, Bet Boom and Boom were probably going to be eliminated. Well, I think Boom, basically, because they faced EG and EG didn't really have much to play for, they actually won both of their matches against EG. Sonics, I think, lost a couple of their matches. Bet Boom also lost. I think maybe Bet Boom like, uh, tied or did a split with somebody. And anyway, they ended up tying 5-13, to 13 um, five and thirteen between all three. They went into a playoff and Boom beat both of them. And now Sonics and Bet Boom are out. Very disappointing for Sonics. I don't think it's anything. You know, people probably weren't expecting Quincy to do amazing, but it just sucks for them that they, you know, they get to TI and yet they have a disappointing result again. We'll see what happens with Quincy Crew slash Sonics. I don't know that they're gonna uh, stay together. We'll see. I think maybe they will, but it's just unfortunately it's disappointing for them. They already did kind of a roster shuffle. Maybe they'll stick with it for one more year. Maybe they'll break up. We'll have to see after that. Uh, Bet Boom, it's kind of it's kind of disappointing just for me the fact that Bet Boom made it did so poorly instead of VP. Like I, I just wish that VP would have made it instead of Bet Boom just to see how they would have done. Not because I favor one team over the other, but just because I do think VP is a better team. But they ended up not being able to make it through the qualifier or the last chance qualifier. But anyway. A little disappointing there. Um, Boom Esports was probably the best team in SEA, so it was surprising that they were down the slow, but they do get a chance to stay alive in TI. We'll see if they can put it together and end up doing really well. So that's Group A. That's pretty much the storylines from Group A. Now we're going to move on to Group B, which I think Group B was a little bit more straightforward of a group. It kind of was maybe not obvious who was going to do well and who was going to do poorly, but there wasn't as much like crazy shenanigans. You know, last there wasn't a lot of ties going on. Uh, there was one tie at the end here that mattered, uh, but there wasn't a lot of crazy crazy stuff happening that anyone was super surprised with. I think Thund uh, Tundra being up here is a little bit surprising only in the fact that Tundra is a very hit or miss. Sometimes they seem to do really well. Sometimes they seem to not do very well. And I think this obviously is a tournament where they're doing really well. But again, this is one of those where they are a team that has sort of established the meta. Obviously, they went 14-4 and four with EG. They are they do benefit from some of these offlane heroes like Visage and other things that are very weird. I think that's why they're also pretty good in this meta. Um, so we'll see if that carries forward to the upper bracket. I'm not sure I believe in them 100%, but they did pretty well. Secret, obviously, same thing with Liquid. They had the momentum. They look really good. Thunder is one where I'm, I'm kind of rooting for these guys because I think the, this is the best team in South America. They've done well in other tournaments. And so although you would... 
say they're kind of a surprise. They're not really as surprising as Hokori is on the other side, especially because they were the best team in South America. They had the most points, I believe. Um, and they did well in one of the majors, even though the Chinese teams weren't there. And they've done well in this bracket. Uh, so, and I mean, they went 10 and 8. They, they did pretty well. And so... I don't know if they're going to have the best run in the upper bracket. They never seem to be able to put it together. Uh, although they did well in that one major, I don't know if they're going to have the most success, but I am rooting for them. I'm kind of hoping they do well. And then Team Master, a Chinese team that people uh, pretty much think is the second best Chinese team, which probably is based on the standings here. But, you know, it's LGD, then Team Master, then probably RNG. And uh, so they're in the upper bracket as well. Nothing too surprising there. I think people would have expected Astro to do well. Then we have the next four teams. Fnatic doing, I think, surprisingly well. I think Boom is the better team in SEA and Fnatic is doing well. I think Fnatic is one of those teams where they have potential. They just haven't lived up to it. So now they're kind of, even though they're, they still are lower bracket, I think not necessarily that it's surprising, but it is surprising that they are the best SEA team here right now. And then um, we have Team Spirit, which obviously... They, they tied like everyone. So if you look down here at the, this is basically wins, ties, and losses are like 2-0, uh, splits, and then 0-2. And so they split with like every team almost, which is kind of crazy. They just won one to everybody. It wasn't enough to actually get them into the upper bracket. So this, I think, is obviously a big story. Probably one of the biggest stories uh, in Group B, if not the biggest story, just because, you know, the previous TI champ, starting out in the lower bracket, you know, this is going to be a very hard run for them to make it from, I think it's a single elimination game to start all the way up to potentially repeat. I mean, I just don't see that happening. Now, I think Spirit is a very good team. Uh, they've had success in the past year. I still think they're really good. It's just that it's going to be a hard struggle to make it, you know, to have the same success that they've had in the past starting out where they are. Uh, to not make it to upper bracket is a, is a big deal. Then we have Beast Coast. I think there's no surprise that Beast Coast would here, was here. I think it'd be a surprise if Beast Coast made the upper bracket. I think it'd be a surprise if Beast Coast was eliminated. We have Entity, which actually is a little disappointing for me, at least, in my expectations. I thought Entity looked really good in the last chance qualifier. Obviously, they beat out Team Secret, Team Liquid uh, to get into the tournament. And I think they just looked really unstoppable and really good coming out of Europe. But for whatever reason, they just didn't have success in this tournament with the meta. I think the meta slightly shifted in a way that they weren't really comfortable with. I think they were sort of like gaming gladiators where they had certain a certain play style, certain unique picks that maybe they even established the meta or with this SF pick and certain things like that. And then people just copied it and then they ended up falling behind. So they obviously do make it into the, they don't get eliminated, but they were pretty close. They actually tied with Talon Esports and then uh, ended up beating them in the tiebreaker. But that's really disappointing from where I thought that they potentially could be. I thought they could potentially be on top of the bracket, uh, you know, making it into upper bracket. But unfortunately for them, them they're down here and, and just based on the performance so far i don't i think it's going to be a quick out for them they might win their game in the lower bracket but i don't know it's very iffy for them and then lastly we have talent esports probably not super surprising that they got eliminated they're probably the weakest sca team and then we have tsm which is a pretty big disappointment that the other two NA teams, it just seems like, you know, this entire year we were leading up to everything. Like maybe NA has become a different a different style. There's something different about them, you know. Now we have it's not just EG on the top. EG's faltering. TSM makes it to a major final. You know, Quincy Crew slash Sonics is doing pretty well. You know, we even have Wildcard. We have Nouns doing a little bit better in general against the uh, the likes of, you know, the Juggernauts. And things seem to be on the up and up. And then we get to TI and both the, the other NA teams that aren't EG are eliminated in the group stage. It's just very unfortunate. I'm not really... I didn't watch a lot of TSM games. I'm not really sure what happened. It just seems like... I guess the meta just hasn't favored them very much. Uh, for whatever reason, they've just not played very well. Uh, obviously, that's just the case from them being down here. But it's very disappointing to see them and Sonics go out. Uh, I, I even think, I mean, obviously this is a stacked lineup. Like, every team here is good. But you would think, even making it to a major finals, they would be able to put up some more of a fight. I mean, they had the worst record in this group. They're tied with the worst record with these teams overall in the tournament so far. Just very, very disappointing. We'll see if they stick together. Uh, I would like them to stick together. I think they have potential, but at the same time, I think I just have this feeling with the way the years went, with the way that the year has gone so far, and with these performances in TI, I just don't see these two teams sticking together any longer. Um, I think it's time for a good mix-up. I think teams and players have gotten a lot of experience. It's time to mix it up a little bit. But at the same time, you, you don't want to mix it up and then 
go backwards in terms of progress. So we'll see how it works after this. But anyway, that is the group stage. That's kind of the storyline so far from both groups. And now let's jump into my bracket predictions and I'll kind of make them live on the fly there with you. Okay, so now we're in the battle pass here and I'm going to do my predictions for the bracket here all the way to the end and pick a winner. So first we'll just start with the upper bracket and I'm going to pick EG because, I mean, they've just been really good so far. I do like Thunder Predator. I actually don't think this is just like an obvious EG win, although EG did pick Thunder Predator. I do think of any, you know, matchup that they, anybody that made the upper bracket, anyone that they decided to match up against, this is probably the best pick for them just because I think they constantly have the upper hand against all NA and SA teams because they're, because they're more used to the players. They know the players' play styles, how they work, you know, they play with them in pubs, all that kind of stuff. I think it's just a better matchup for them. So, Obviously, I'm rooting for Thunder Predator in a, in a in a small way, like I said before. I am rooting for EG to hopefully do well as well. I think everyone kind of wants to see RTZ do well and finally get a TI under his belt if that's possible. So I am going to pick EG here. I'm not going to be shocked if they lose, but it will be disappointing if they lose. But I am kind of rooting for both teams, so it's kind of sad whoever wins in some way. Next, we have Secret LGD, which I believe Secret actually picked LGD as the team to face, which... LGD hasn't been looking as dominant as they did before or, in, or you know, in the last few years, but they did kind of switch it around after that first day and they have been doing pretty well. So I don't know that this is the best thing to do to pick them, but obviously all the teams in the upper bracket are pretty strong. So it's just going to be interesting. Again, these are two teams that I could see being in the finals uh, together. So the fact that they are Facing in the first round of the upper bracket is kind of like, oh, I kind of want both of these teams to do really well. I'm actually going to pick, ah, oh man, who do I pick? I, I want to say LGD, but I, I like, I'm rooting for Secret in a way. I'm going to pick Secret just because I think they have the momentum. I think they're doing well. PSG has looked weaker. They have faltered. At the same time, though, I see PSG LGD potentially just like, you know, turning things around. Maybe they just weren't playing as seriously or trying to do more stuff, you know, experiment a little bit in the group stage, and now they're just going to crush. So obviously I'm going to pick Secret there. I think that could be a bad pick, but hey, Secret did choose to face LGD, so maybe it's a smart choice. I don't know. We'll see. I am kind of rooting for them as well, just because I'm rooting for Puppy. Uh, you know, you know, you don't know how much longer he's going to play, so I'm going to pick Secret for that one. Next we have Tundra OG. So this is kind of a toss-up for me. It's very hard for me to pick which one, but I just think Tundra has been playing better so far. They're on the top of the uh, Group B. OG looked a little bit shaky. Obviously, you all have the OG magic. You have the Seb speech. You know, you can never count that out, but I am going to pick Tundra there. I think it's clear that this meta, for whatever reason, favors them, and I'm going to pick them here. But I won't be surprised if OG wins just because OG is just OG magic. And next, we have Aster and Liquid. Uh, I'm going to pick Liquid, so I'm being very biased. I'm not picking Chinese teams. Uh, I'm, I'm picking Liquid here because I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for Matumba Man, even though I think they definitely could lose to Aster. I could definitely see Secret and Liquid losing to LGD and Aster, so this bracket could, could be completely messed up. I am kind of just picking them because I'm rooting for them uh, in a way. But Matumba Man said he's probably going to retire after this, so I kind of want him to do well in those last TI. But these two teams coming off the last chance qualifier have looked really, really good. Uh, and I don't know if Astra and LGD have looked as sh as strong as the Chinese teams, you know, as we think they should be. So I'm going to pick them both there. Now let's go into the lower bracket round. I believe this is best of one. Yeah, best of one here. So this is a crazy um, scenario. I believe Hokori actually picked Beast Coast. I think that's how it worked out, which is interesting that they decided to pick, you know, their brother team in, in South America to face them, probably because they felt more comfortable. But unfortunately, even though Hokori has done really well, I'm probably going to pick Beast Coast just because they know each other and Beast Coast has done better over the years um, and just has shown that they're a more consistent team even though Hokori has done really well. I'm going to pick Beast Coast here. Um, it just kind of sucks that basically all three South American teams are going to be at the same part of the bracket if Thunder uh, Predator lose there at the at the top of the bracket against EG. There, there's pretty much only, unless, they, unless Thunder Predator wins or Thunder Awaken or whatever it is, must they win here against EG? There's really only going to be one South American team that's going to make it to this lower bracket round three. And there's like a guaranteed team, I guess, to make it there, uh, which kind of sucks. Like I kind of am rooting for South America in a way because they're one of the regions that hasn't done as well. But that's I'm going to pick Beast Coast over Hikori just because of res like uh, recent results are not enough and they ended up not making the upper bracket. So I'm going to pick Beast Coast because of the matchup and how they've played against each other and they kind of know each other and Beast Coast has been consistently better. 
Next, we have Team Spirit and Boom. This is an obvious Team Spirit choice. Even though they haven't done as well, they've been trading a lot, you know, splitting a lot of games with players, and I think they're going to beat Boom. I think Boom has a little bit of momentum, obviously, but I just don't think they're going to be good enough to beat Team Spirit. I think this is a very obvious choice. It's going to be a huge upset, I think, if Boom wins. Like, very, very huge, and kind of a crazy story that Team Spirit goes out in the first round of the lower bracket in the best of one. Next, we have Fnatic and GG, Gaming Gladiators. I'm going to pick Gaming Gladiators. I don't think Fnatic's a very strong team. They've shown themselves to be decent in this uh, in this TI so far in the group stage. I don't really believe in them. I haven't believed in them all year. Um, I think Gaming Gladiators can pull out some weird stuff in one game to win this, so I'm going to pick them. I am maybe showing a little bit of European bias there, but that's what I'm going to pick. Next, we have RNG and Entity. I'm just going to pick RNG far and away. I think Entity has looked really weak and compared to what they probably should be and rng is a solid team i think they're better than their ranking obviously they won they were nine and one they lost a lot of their last games to some of the best teams in their group i'm not going to put them super far down they did lose to og 2-0 at the end there but i think they they're one of the teams that should be upper bracket that's not it's basically them and hokori i think should be upper bracket compared to where they uh, uh, are and how in how they performed so far so that's what i'm going to pick there for rng let's just go to the second round then of uh the loser bracket and we'll, we're going to do Thunder versus Beast Coast. I'm going to pick Thunder again. I just think they're better. Um, they've obviously performed better. They got to the upper bracket over the entire year. They've looked to be the better team of the South American team. So I'm going to pick them. Pretty straightforward there. And then PSG LGD Spirit. This would be crazy if this actually happens in the lower bracket round two. That would be insane. And I'm actually going to pick up. Uh, this seems insane. This seems so crazy if I picked this. Ah, oh, man. I was going to pick the Spirit, but... Oh, dude, should I pick Spirit here? I actually, okay, I don't know. I'm going to come back to that. I got to digest that. I don't know which one to pick. I think it's like, so, dude, it's such a toss-up. But like, Spirit has their number all the time. And I'm, I'm skipping to OG GG because this is an easy one. OG's obviously winning this one. It's not, I, don't think, I don't think it's even going to be close. OG's clearly going to win that one if they come down there. And then Aster RNG. I'm going to pick Aster here. I think RNG's done really well. I think they're a really good team, but I think Aster's just better. I think they've shown it, so I'm going to pick Aster there. Coming back to PSG LGD and Team Spirit. Oh, man, what do I do? I, okay, so I picked PSG LGD to lose the secret. I'm going to pick them to beat Spirit because Spirit has looked shaky. And PSG LGD might, you know, win up here and just go all the way to finals anyway. So uh, I have to give them benefit of the doubt. They are the upper bracket team. I'm going to pick them. That's what I'm going to decide. They're going to get the revenge, loser bracket round two, and they're going to advance uh, there. So... Then I'm going to pick, I'm going to do loser bracket round three, and then I'll go to the upper bracket. So we have Thunder, PSG, LGD. So I'm going to pick PSG, LGD, actually, obviously, um, just because I think they're a stronger team. I think it would be awesome if Thunder won this game, uh, this matchup, and I think they definitely could with how PSG, LGD has been looking, but I just think this is going to be the obvious choice in this matchup right here. And then we have OG, Aster, and I think I'm going to pick Aster. Now, I know OG is a decent team, but they have been looking relatively shaky. They almost didn't make it to upper bracket. They won two games against RNG at the end to get to upper bracket, and it didn't. they've just not looked great. They've looked okay. Obviously, you have the Seb speech magic and all that kind of stuff, but they just haven't looked the best. I'm going to pick Aster over OG uh, in a little bit not to be too biased towards Europe and NA and stuff, because obviously I have four European teams and an NA team up here. I've got to get give the Chinese some credit. i got to get them up here in the bracket a little bit. And I think they are, Astro right now is a better team. So that's the two Chinese teams in loser bracket round four, waiting for the upper bracket round two teams. And I'm going to pick, okay, I'm not going to pick this one first. I don't know who to pick up here. Tundra versus Liquid. I'm going to pick Liquid. I think that Liquid has momentum. I think they're a better team. I think Tundra is a little cheesy and good, but not great. I'm not like the biggest fan of Tundra. I'm rooting for Liquid. I'm picking Liquid. I think they're going to win. And then this is like, oh man, EG Secret. So I actually think, oh man, this, is, this would be awesome if this happened, EG Secret. But like, it's like I want EG to win. But I feel like picking EG to win here is just so much copium. Like it's just not, it's not going to happen. There's just no way this is going to happen. There's no way EG's making it to upper bracket finals. I just feel like they're going to choke. They're not going to do as well. Like, something is going to fall apart. I'm picking Secret. It's just, I can't... EG, it's not going to happen, dude. I just can't, I don't believe in EG making it that far. I, I feel like 
I can't I can't get my hopes up and then be crushed every time that Arteezy and EG just fail miserably. <laughs> and I, so, you know, they give you a little hope and then they disappoint you. So I, I just, I'm not going to believe in them all the way. So that's what I'm going to pick. We're going to have secret liquid upper bracket finals with all the momentum from the last chance qualifier and picking them. That is kind of crazy that I did pick them to go this far, but they've been looking really good. I mean, they've been looking very, very solid. Uh, it's probably probably going to lose in the first round, honestly, but <laughs> whatever. I'm picking them to go up there. Then we have Tundra, PSG, LGD. I think PSG, LGD is the clear choice there. And then, uh, like, I just don't think they're going to beat lose to Tundra. And then we have EG, Aster. I'm going to pick EG to beat Aster. Um, so I'm not believing in them upper bracket against secret, but I'm going to pick them to beat Aster. And then we have EG LGD loser bracket round five. That'll be an awesome match. A great matchup. Uh, I'm going to pick LGD to win though. We're setting up for an insane grand finals here. I'm going to pick EG to get like fourth again. They're going to do well. They're just not going to do very well. And then I'm going to pick secret to beat liquid in the end here. And then I'm going to pick LGD to beat Liquid, and Liquid's just going to fall short. I just think that they're, I don't know, I just don't think they're really right up to snuff with these other teams. I think they're good. I think they have momentum. I think they're going to be able to beat these teams, but I don't know if they're going to end up, you know, finishing out the entire tournament as the best team. I just don't see it happening. So I'm going to pick LGD and Secret over them here, and then we're going to have a finals a finals of Secret LGD, and I actually, this is crazy, I'm just going to do this because this, this would be an awesome story. I'm going to pick LGD to win. Because LGD has lost all the time, and up they just look so dominant. They go through the entire upper bracket every time, and then they come to the finals and they lose. This happens like all the time. I think that's how like they've lost their finals, right? Every time. Um, I think the other time they actually no, well they lost to Liquid when it was uh, Kuroki in the loser bracket finals when it was the second OG win. Um, but I believe they were in the upper bracket finals and then just, you know, lost out there. But I'm going to pick them for a lower bracket run to win. And this is how they're going to finally win TI is through the lower bracket. You know, no high expectations, no nerve, no nerves. They're going to get knocked down by secret in the beginning. They're, they're looking a little shaky in the group. And then they're going to run all the way through the lower bracket and win because they're just playing with house money and they don't care. I feel like that's like, I feel like there's only three things that, could, that are going to happen. LGD goes all the way to the finals from up here. LGD goes and then loses. LGD goes all the way to the finals from bot, from lower bracket and wins. Or LGD just loses two best of two against Spirit and Secret and just are completely out of the tournament and just completely like their team just is oh it's just over for them. Um, anyway, that would be a pretty sick storyline. It would also be sick if EG went really far. It'd also be sick if Secret and Liquid. Like that's the thing. I feel like I want LGD, EG, Liquid, or Secret to win. This year, like I would love it if and one of those four teams won just because they have retiring players, older players, players that, you know, haven't won and they need to win all that kind of stuff. I, that's why I kind of want these four teams up here. But obviously, who knows what will happen? It'll be very interesting to watch. I'm excited to watch. It sucks for me and for a lot of other people in you know North America, maybe Europe and stuff where the time zone is super bad. So we either have to like stay up really late or wake up really early to watch some of these games. But I am excited to watch a lot of the stuff, see what happens. TI is always super hype every year. So anyway... If you like this video, guys, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know what your predictions are. If you think I'm insane, what storyline you want to see, whatever you want to think about TI, you know, anything that you're thinking um, as you see my bracket here. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, consider going to my Patreon and uh, supporting me there so you can see more videos like this into the future. I also offer coaching there as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.